students first of all i welcome you into my economics class today i am going to start a new chapter the name of the chapter is measures of central tendency that is measures of m measures of central tendency so move to the <coughs> first question this is a conceptual question of this chapter and this is totally a numerical chapter so first question is what is measures of central tendency that is the initial concept of major uh, measures of central tendency you see the answer a central tendency is a single value of or figure not actually of it should be or figure that represents the whole mass of data that means all of you know that in statistical analysis actually we take the help of data that means different steps uh, are related in the data collection and presentation that we have already discussed in the next step we must analyze the collected data through numerical measurement and this is the first step of the numerical measurement of the data so central tendency is a first step and what is central tendency it is a single value that means it is a single value that or figure that represents whole mass of data or you see the second line it represents the characteristics of whole series of data that means when a single value or figure represents the characteristics of a whole series of data series of data all of you know about it we are given a series of data different series are there individual series continuous series then discrete series we have already got about it so this value or single value ultimately represents the characteristics of the whole series of data can you get my point the central tendency is also known as average value so for uh, instance your marks that you have obtained in the last SSLC examination we can take uh, as an example you have six subjects english mathematics then advanced maths science social science and assamese suppose these are your marks or uh, subjects in the last sslc examination and your marks uh, you have got actually different marks numerical figures in against of this subject now if we calculate the average value average value of your marks in different subjects then this average value will represent the whole mass of data or whole marks that we obtain in the last examination for example with the help of average value we can also convert this mark into the percentage that means a specific percentage is obtained can be obtained after calculating um, the uh, calculating through the right procedure and this percentage or the average value will represent the quality of the student suppose uh, we can take the help of uh, take an example here that means a student suppose get 60 marks in english and then 72 marks in mathematics then in social science he gets suppose 52 and then uh, assam is it is 82 and science has got 35 and in advanced mass he has got suppose 92 now there is a specific procedure of calculation of what average value or the percentage so 
you add all these values and convert it into the percentage. So here it is the summation or total of the marks obtained by the students. Uh, for this you have to add all these marks obtained by the students and then you convert these marks into the percentage that is 393 is the total value total marks by 600 because the total uh, subject is 600 uh, say 6 therefore total marks will be 600 and you multiply it by 100 then the figure will be 65.5 percent this 65.5 percent will represent the quality of the student quality of the student or we can say that it represents the quality or the characteristics okay so here in the initial stage it was a complex series although it is organized for an illiterate person but when you convert these values or the items into the single value through the percentage method then this will help to learn the quality or the characteristics of the student easy, easily therefore this figure is called as the average value and average value hence average value is also known as the measures of central tendency so again you see the measures of central tendency is the single value that represents the characteristics of whole series of data here this 65.5 percent represents the all the marks obtained by different subjects by the students it does not imply that every um, that a student must get 60 exactly 65.5 marks in every subjects that means the marks are different that means obtained by the students in the different subjects but these marks ultimately represents the series of data now we move to the second paragraph what you get here an average is called as major of central tendency because it is a typical value around which other figures lie or value which occup uh, occupies the central position so in uh, our example 65.5 percent occupies the central position and around this central position or central figure other figures will lie that means therefore it is stated that value around which other figures lie so central position occupied by the average value and other values are lie around this central value so for example when we talk about average cost then average revenue average productivity per capita income all we mean central tendency so average value is nothing but the measures of central tendency so in economics actually we get different concepts you will also get the idea about this concept that is average cost then average revenue so then average productivity per capita income all are mean the value of the central tendency and this actually help the analyze uh, uh, that means economists to analyze the different sectors of the economy that means measures of central tendency helps us or help the economists to analyze different actually sectors of the economy through the help of the average cost or average productivity and again per capita income the economies ultimately form the different economic policy so average value is nothing but it is a single value or single figure which represents the characteristics of whole series of data this is the simple concept of the measures of central tendency if you are asked to write uh, uh, measures of central tendency for one marks then just you write these two lines but if you are asked to uh, write a note on the measures of central tendency you write whole these two paragraph okay or you can also actually give examples that means numerical examples 
to elaborate more so you go through the book that means jp well and h Gushami. then you can get the complete idea so i think you have got the concept so if if you have any query then you can ask me thank you